Welcome to my channel and here I am with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Today in this video, I will tell you how to enter the flight plan in G1000 of Cessna C408 Sky Korean. I'm making this video because you cannot load this uh, flight plan made in the electronic flight bag into the G1000. You have to manually enter this flight plan. So uh, today in this video, I will just give you a walkthrough because I'm making a series of videos for this plane. Already I've uploaded a video in which I've told you how to uh, start this plane from the cold and dark state and now this is for the G1000 configuration for the flight plan. So first of all, let's open uh, this electronic flight bag and let's select the departure. Uh, I will be doing this flight from Heathrow to Manchester. And uh, the runway is al already selected. I can select the departure and this is going to be the one. Um, I have already covered the flight planning part in one of uh, my videos. I will also give you a link in the description. So you can just uh, go and watch that video if you're not really familiar you know, with the departure and uh, for the arrival procedures, I will give you this link uh, because right now in this video, I just want to focus on how to enter this flight plan in, in the G1000 interface. So I can change the procedure and then I can find the route. And uh, for the arrival, I can select, uh, this is a arrival, change procedure. And that's it. So let's uh, have a look at the flight plan. So this flight plan is there. and it's perfectly all right. So now the issue is this, that if I want to send this route to avionics, you will see nothing will happen. I'll just show it to you over here. It should appear over here, so it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the screen by pressing Shift 2 and just enter the flight plan over here. So first of all, let's uh, bring up the flight plan and you have to get the cursor over here. So simply bring your mouse cursor over here on this knob, hold it with your left mouse button and click it with the right. Now just move the bigger one to move your cursor. So for the origin, I will select EGLL, which is Heathrow. Just move the smaller one and you will be able to enter the airport. If you click this option, you will be able to enter the airport from your keyboard. So it's EGLL then just press enter and enter and that's it and then you have to enter all the waypoints over here uh, so the waypoints let's start entering them if you want to skip it you can also skip it but just to tell you that how you enter the waypoints b u n that's it enter and then you have uh, w e l i n Enter. The next one is uh, if you. Uh, I'll I'll just also skip one point, and I will tell you if you want to enter a point between these two points. So let's say if I go to this one, the next one is Timpu. So that's it. Enter. Now you can see this flight plan is also getting updated over here. So it's good. Now you want to have a, a waypoint between these two points. So it's a, a good way to do it. Just uh, bring your cursor over here on this one, because if you'll insert anything over here, it will be inserted above it. So if I move this smaller one, and if I enter it, A Q U P A. The waypoints are a tw tongue twister. <laughs> so it's there. So that's how you do it. Now bring it to the empty slot and over here, Elvos. Just enter it. Actually, I've selected this route because it has many waypoints. So that's why I just wanted uh, to show you that how you enter the waypoints over here. And the last one is TNT. Enter, yeah, <laughs> not the one in Japan, United Kingdom, enter. And now I can go to this uh, option destination and I can select the airport, which is Manchester, EGCC, and press enter. That's it, and select none. Now the flight plan is there. All we have to do is just select the departure and the arrival procedures and that's it. So 
you can uh, go to this option procedure and uh, select departure first of all you have to select the sid enter and uh, which is uh, umla1f just enter runway 27 right it's automatically selected and if you want to load it you can just load it enter and that's it and now for the approach first of all select the approach and then the arrival for the approach it's uh, runway 23 right so select runway 23 right ILS and uh, no transition just simply select vectors because I'm not using any transition for it as you can see that it's direct if I was selecting MCD then I will select the transition over here so right now I'm just going for a direct approach and that's it transition is actually a point where the arrival procedure ends and the approach procedure starts so that's the logic if you want to skip it you can always skip it oh oops what did i do <laughs> so i can just go back to the flight plan and the procedure approach 23 right enter right and just load and yes and that's it and for the arrival procedure arrival procedure even if you want to skip this part you can do it otherwise you can select it and it is this one just press enter and it is 423 right just press enter and load now let's uh, look at the flight plan and let's see if it makes sense yes it's just like the one that we let me just bring the cursor so you can just bring the cursor and you can just go through this flight plan to see if it is okay or not now you can see at this point T and T the plane is actually doing this kind of a loop so I can delete it if you want you can delete this loop simply clear and remove TNT press enter and it will be removed and that's it now again bring back the cursor sorry just clear it flight plan bring the cursor again and just go through it Again, this point is here, TNT, so I can clear it, enter. If you see there is any issue in the flight plan, you can always change it. And now as I'm flying directly towards this point, so that's why uh, you can see there is a discontinuity. So either for this point, you can just fly using the heading or you can also change the procedure. So if I want to change the procedure, I can just go over here again. And for the approach, I can just press enter and uh, press enter and instead of, you know, vectors. Now it was actually, uh, if you fly this uh, flight plan after this point, the plane will stop following the flight plan and it will just keep on going straight. So then you have to basically go into the heading mode, fly towards this waypoint, and then you can uh, just follow this waypoint, or you can fly directly to this waypoint by using this option. But let's say if I select MCT, which is a transition, then this is the um, flight path. The plane will actually go to this point, and from here it will go right, and then it will just take this loop, and it will go for the landing. So if I press enter, and if I just go down, and if I press enter, yes, it will be loaded. I can also look at the flight plan by bringing this cursor over here on the screen. It's easy to do it. Simply hold it with your left mouse button and then click it with the right one. Now you can just zoom in. And you can see that this flight plan is just like the one that we have already selected. And that's it. So it looks uh, good. 
and if you want to zoom in just bring your cursor to the point where you want to zoom in and just zoom in over there and it will show you this flight plan so it is just like the one that we saw so that's how you basically enter the flight plan over here in g1000 uh, enter the waypoints and change the approach and the um, uh, departure as well even if you want to have a direct departure you can do this but it's not wise to do that so now that's it if you have uh, any questions in this regard you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video the comment section is there for you thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day hope to see you soon